Hey guys, welcome back to Braden's Baseball Channel. Coming to you live from my new seats from Globe Life Park. They just came in the mail the other day and I'm pretty excited. They're really neat. They've got these nice little brackets on the bottom that, you know, keep them from falling over. Uh, but anyway, uh, today we're going to be checking out one of my favorite players, uh, Joey Gallo. Um, I started, I latched on to Joey Gallo whenever my father-in-law and I went to his first ball game in 2015. He went three for four with a home run. We both looked at each other like, man, I hope this guy becomes something special, which he, he is. He is, uh, he, each year he seems to be getting better and better. Um, 2019 was his best year before he got injured, broke his hand, and he's just been a lot of fun to watch. Um, somebody that I've latched on to collecting wise. And so anyway, let's go check out some baseball cards. All right, so let's start with the uh, earliest card that I have of Joey Gallo. It's a 2014 uh, Bowman's First. This one's all set up, ready to be sent off to get graded. Then the 2015 Tops Update Series. And then I believe this is the short print version of that. Then you have the variation where he's getting dunked with Gatorade after a game. Then here's the gold parallel. This one is serial number 152. And then the tops chrome gold parallel. I just picked this one up about two weeks ago. Oh, I still haven't even taken it out. The uh, person I bought it from on eBay threw in a pink Arenado. Hey, maybe this is a little hint that we'll be getting Nolan Arenado. There is a lot of talk about him being the new Texas Ranger third baseman. All right, moving on, Topps Heritage. So there's his base card. And then the, yeah, that's the short print variation of that and then the mini 51 and the regular 51 for graded cards that I've already picked up um, I guess this is the the best one that I have of him so far 2015 tops chrome in a 10 I would like to get this in a green. I've seen that on eBay a few times. Um, number to 99. But it's always a little bit too expensive. Just haven't pulled the trigger just yet. And then the, this is the Heritage in a 10. Then the Heritage 51. I didn't realize I already, um, when I bought this one, I didn't realize I already had. Another one that's in pretty good condition that'll probably grade a 10. All right, moving along to some patch cards. Here's the 2019 All-Star Game patch. It's a 2018 Tier 1, 252 at 335. And another 2018, uh, just a game use patch. Next we have a 2018 Topps Triple Thread, 6 of 27. It's got a little pink down in the bottom. It's a pretty neat card. This one's a 2017 um, Topps Autographed Joey Gallo, 6 of 50. And then a 2016, this one's number five and nine. Yeah, all right, let's move along to the binder. All right, here's my Joey Gallo binder. 
starting with 2016 tops. Got a few of the base cards, opening day, the uh, gold parallel, and the uh, tops chrome, black, and just the regular, uh, kind of a prism to it. And then the 2016 tops heritage. And this one's actually a chrome, and then the purple parallel of that. I actually don't have the base card of that, which is quite funny. All right, finishing up 2016 here. Uh, just a couple cards, Allen and Ginner, Gypsy Queen, and that's about it for 2016, at least so far. All right, moving on to 2017. Um, again, got the top space, the gold parallel. The blank one on the top right is because I keep seeing the uh, black parallel popping up on eBay. Just haven't pulled the trigger on it. It's only $4. I don't know why. Well, $4 plus shipping. But anyway, um, I need to get that just because that's just the lower serial number card. Uh, then I have a limited edition and the holiday snowflake. And this one is actually a 2018, even though they used the 2017 picture, but it's the 2018 uh, national baseball card, uh, national baseball card day. And then down at the bottom, the uh, Topps Heritage and just the base and the blue parallel, which I guess is the Walmart version. Um, and then the Record Breaker. And then down at the bottom, you have the Topps Heritage, uh, the Walmart blue, and the 17 Record Breaker. Moving on to 2018, starting off with the base card, got the short print variation, and then this one is a uh, sparkle in the top right. And I forget what that's actually called, but it comes with, may come with the set or something like that. But anyway, it is numbered, yeah, that one's numbered to 190. And then we have the vintage stock, the gold, the black, and the holiday snowflake. And I didn't realize this, but I don't have the tops uh, or just the base opening day, but I have the blue opening day parallel. So I need to pick that up. All right, moving on with 2018, the tops chrome and sapphire, the pink, um, sepia. Then you have the league leaders. Um, I've got the base gold and pink Mother's Day. Moving on. Uh, Tops Heritage, got the base, chrome, and the purple. I still need to pick up the black for the uh, Tops Heritage. Moving on with the Tops Finest. How many of you guys have done this where you accidentally purchase a card that you already own? Um, I've been doing that a lot lately, actually. I think I've done that three times in the past couple months. So with Tops Finest, um, get the base, the seeing red version. Then I have the green, that's numbered to 99. The blue is numbered to 150. And the purple is to 250. Then a couple of uh, the tops fire. Got the top stadium. And then at the bottom, the uh, 83 uh, color schemes in the blue, or sorry, in the white, blue, and the black version of those. I've got one of the archives, uh, no short print on that. Allen and Ginner, um, the Donruss, a couple of Gypsy Queens, and just the base. Oh, I think that one's a base. Let me look. Yeah, that one's a base. The blue one is a parallel. And then with the Bowman, just a sparkle version of the Bowman, the base and green, and then the Bowman birthday as well. All right, moving on to 2019. Um... These are the ones that I'm really, really been grabbing up. Um, just all the variations that I can find. Uh, starting with the base, you have the short print, the 150th anniversary, gold, black, um, the chrome. Oh no, wait, sorry, the rainbow foil. And then you have the opening day, the blue opening day, and then the Utz potato chip card. Up at the top, the yellow Walgreens, the red Independence Day, and 
this one, where is this one? Oh yeah, this one's numbered 150. It's an advanced stats. In the tops, chrome, sapphire, uh, the blue, pink, and then a uh, series two 150th anniversary variation. And with the tops update, uh, a couple of base cards, the foil, the uh, the foil, and then you have the gold, black, Independence Day, the yellow Walgreens card, and the 150th anniversary. So this is what I've been really going after. These are the 2019 Tops Update Silver Pack cards. So at the top left you have the base. The blank one would be the Super Refractor 101. Uh, the red and the Super. Then just got the gold in the mail the other day. Purple, green, blue, and the black. So if I can just get those two, I can complete the rainbow. And that's been kind of fun chasing after that, at least for the last couple of months. All right, continuing with the Topps Heritage, I've got the base, the chrome, and the chrome refractor. And those are serial numbered as well. Um, and then a couple of Gypsy Queens. Blue, green. I think this one's the base one, actually. I put that, yeah, I kind of put that out of order. Uh, purple. And just a uh, chrome version. Mm, I'm going to have to study up on that one. All right, continuing with 2019. Got the tops uh, fire. And then the big league. The archives. Gold label. Gallery. Uh, a couple stadium clubs, just the base and the black. Alright guys, that wraps up my Joey Gallo collection so far of 2019. Thank you so much for stopping by and letting me share my collection with you. We'll talk to you next video.